The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi, folks. Larry Pesavento giving you the afternoon update for TFNN. We've got stocks down with the exception of the NASDAQ is up about 18 points. Dow Jones down 300, which isn't much considering the news that's come out. S&P's down about 17 and the Russell's down about 18. We've got Treasury bonds up about a point. Uh, Treasury notes acting still pretty strong. Uh, gold under a great deal of pressure, down $17. And silver under a great deal of pressure, down $1.29. And uh, that tells us that we've had a pretty good correction, almost ready for a, a good buying opportunity, I would think, uh, in the uh silver coming in pretty soon. The big news, of, for, of course, is the strength in the U.S. dollar, folks. All of the currencies are failing to the U.S. dollar. Uh, that's what's giving the uh, why it is going the opposite of what it usually does in the gold market, but it is holding up at a very, very strong level, that U.S. dollar. So that's telling us that we're going to go the uh, in this direction, at least for a day or two. Now, remember, we've got Friday coming in. And we have this old adage in the market that sell in May go in way that sell in May and go away that only has worked once in the last 10 years. This may make it 11 out of 12. I don't know, but uh, these we're watching to see how the pro how the prices are going. We're having a, a weakness across uh, uh, London. Uh, the FTSE is down. Also, the uh, German DAX is down after being up for a considerable amount. But all in all. It's not the end of the world. Uh, Jamie Dimon, the president and CEO of um, J.P. Morgan, came on and had some very negative things to say about the debt ceiling, also about the banks, and a few other things that were not very uh, structurally helpful uh, to the market. He felt that the banks were still in a great deal of trouble and that that debt ceiling could be the black swan that would take us down into something farther than a uh, regular recession. And that's what sold off the market. So we'll listen to what the charts say, not so much what people say. And that's what we try to do because it's not what you think you're looking at. It's what you are looking at because it's not what you trade. It's what you think that you have to. That's what you have to do. You got to look at what you're seeing, folks, and trade what you see not what you think. We'll be right back.